everyone and welcome back to Raining Cake. So today's video is going to be a first impressions slash trial video of the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Um, so it says flawless long lasting coverage, broad spectrum of SPF 15. So I have been meaning to try this for such a long time. I mean, I know it's been out for ages and I know there's probably a lot of videos out there on how this works and whatnot but um i've always wanted to try it so now i am gonna try it so i have the shade 4.5 i think yeah 4.5 medium and um it says on here flawless plor, 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 flawless poreless you for looking skin every day so yeah so i'm gonna give that a go um i am gonna feel myself pulling it on and then give you my thoughts on the first impressions of it as well as i'm going to document it throughout the day so i've got quite a busy day of filming blog taking blog picture taking um, i'm going to my friend's mum's birthday and yeah so i'll film and um show you the results of it throughout the day in terms of how it sits on my skin um how long it lasts what type of effect it has in terms of you know because my skin's like quite um oily and like I've got combination skin so sort of like around the t-zone area it tends to um get greasy quite quickly so um yes yeah, so i'll show you how it kind of all looks um from when i apply it to the end of the day and see how long um it lasted so yes i really hope you enjoy the video so I'm going to be applying the foundation with my Primark PS Pro brush and I think this size is the biggest size they do. I don't actually know if um, they still do it because I think it went for a, th a phase of um, a sale period and I'm pretty sure this was in it for like £2 but these are the best brushes like for foundation i mean i have tried the artiste brushes they're good they're really good but these are so much better in terms of affordability like they're a good alternative to the artiste brushes the artiste brushes are amazing but purse friendly wise these ones are really good so i'm just gonna take the um foundation out of the box and i have the shade I get I think I got 4.5 yeah 4.5 medium and it is um, currently quite a light shade I'm normally in between like a, um, a medium and a medium tan most of the times but um, now that it's like only February and haven't been on any holidays since September last year um, I am probably a lighter shade so this one looks pretty good for my skin tone right now I am gonna come in closer so you can see um, the application and like my first impressions or how it actually sits on my skin and stuff like that so I'll talk you through how it feels the texture um, the coverage and stuff like that sorry so I know that this is pretty close right now so I do apologize I do have a few blemishes here and there so um, the foundation comes with a um, pump mechanism so it's a lot easier to put onto your brush so I've just put six pumps of the foundation, which is what I normally have on, which is what I normally apply to my skin with most foundations. And I'm just, I have already primed my skin. Um, I'm currently using the Nivea Hydration Primer because my skin is pretty dry at the moment. You can probably see from my nose, um, recently recovered from a cold, so just got a lot of dryness around there. So I'm just gonna apply this to my skin now. You may see me looking at that side just because I'm looking at the viewfinder. I might pick up a mirror soon as well. I now have a mirror on this side, so I might be looking in the viewfinder and in a mirror. So for first impressions, the coverage isn't as full as I thought it would be. It's gone on pretty smoothly. Maybe I need to apply a bit more, I'm not sure. But six pumps is my normal amount that I put on my skin. So let's just blend this in a bit more. Blending wise, it's very fine. It's it's fine. It's gone on quite smooth, um, and it's kind of spreading around quite nicely. Yeah, I definitely thought that it was going to be a bit more of a fuller coverage, but at the moment for me, it's quite. Um, sheer if you know what I mean let's get that in there um, 
shade wise it's fine it goes with my skin tone um maybe it's just my skin i'm not sure but it hasn't fully covered like the redness i don't know if you can see from there how um i'm sorry if i keep going out of focus i might lean back slightly and then it goes out of focus because at the moment it's on manual focus this camera um yeah i mean it's okay but not the coverage that i thought it would be um you can see my redness of my skin is still there I mean the dry parts I would imagine it would have been kind of I expected it to cling onto the dry parts anyway um, and on my forehead but it was very easy to apply it was very smooth it glided on like a dream just that I'm not sure if the coverage is what I normally have and what I normally prefer because I normally like a more filler coverage uh, foundation yeah, so I'm going to go on and do the rest of my makeup and I will let you know through like a kind of vlog style how um, it lasted throughout the day. At the moment it's gone on and it's gone on quite smooth and matte so yeah we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 